And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. We are here in the Villamard neighborhood of Montreal. It is right now Thursday, September 5th, 2019, exactly 11.45 p.m. And I'm about to do a walking video on the next street down, which is Monk. But I figured I'd start here because this here is called a Couchtard. Now, if you live in anywhere else in Canada, you probably recognize this logo right here, this winking owl. And where you are, it might be a Max convenience store. And believe it or not, all the Max convenience stores are run out of a company in Quebec called Couchtard. Uh, and in Quebec, the stores are called Couchtard. Um, so if you've seen this logo and you have a Max convenience store or 7-Eleven or on the run, I think they're all part of the the Couchtard group of convenience stores. So the Max and all that, even though they're located across Canada, their head office is here in Quebec, which is interesting. Um, but anyways, so we're going to look around here tonight, see what the nightlife is like here uh, in Villamard and literally Monk Boulevard, which we're coming to right now, divides Villamard in uh, Cote St. Paul. I got us some nice wall art murals around here and there of course is the Monk Metro Station directly across from me on the green line and we're now on a corner of Monk and Allard and uh, on the other side of the street is technically uh, Cote St. Paul a uh, Cote St. Paul neighborhood so we're gonna walk around here and uh, like I said see what we could see check out the nightlife and uh, we're going to be walking, uh, yeah, to our north here on Monk Boulevard on this very cool and crisp evening, September. And uh, the one thing about the street, there's a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, a lot of businesses that cater to that kind of thing. Here's a nice old-fashioned Depener, also called a convenience store. We call our uh, Depeners here, we call our convenience stores here uh, Depeners. There's an old STM Sprinter van. And you can see it's garbage night here in this neighborhood. So we'll walk a couple of blocks down. You can hear different types of music. See different types of stores, grocery chains. And I'll change sides here and there. You can see a lot of uh, music coming from the bars and all that. And uh, I just wanted to mention one thing about this neighborhood. It's one of the older neighborhoods in Montreal. I'm not saying this is old as, you know, old Montreal, for example. But I mean, this was a very industrial area uh, back in the 1800s. And, um, you know, this is, of course, based near the Lachine Canal, which was the heart of the industrial industrialization of this area back in the day. There's the IGA store, or, uh, International Grocer Association. And this is one of the uh, main grocery stores in Quebec. And this one's called Marche Saint Pierre. I like those Horn of Plenties, I think they're called. 30 years. So it shows you how long these uh, you know types of businesses have been here. In the current form they are. And you'll see a lot of, uh, you know, triplexes, duplexes as well around here. But uh, the main thing on the street are bars and restaurants. Uh, also some dental offices. Kind of like a, its own little village, you know. And another thing I want to mention as well, it kind of reminds me of the Monkland Village near Ville Marie Metro. Just had to uh, adjust my lens there a little foggy uh, and oily or uh, you know like I said these lenses tend to gather a lot of dust debris there's the SAQ this is our provincial liquor store um, the way it works in Quebec is uh, you know if you live in Ontario you have the Ontario Liquor Board I think it's called um, and I think in Ontario you're only allowed to buy alcohol in those stores if you want to have beer uh, rum, whatever, you have to go to 
the uh, Ontario Liquor Board stores or whatever they're called. Um, here in Quebec, you're allowed to sell alcohol in Depeneurs, which are the convenience stores. Also grocery stores, you can sell wine. But I don't think you can sell the uh, more intense stuff like the the vodkas and that in the Depeneurs or grocery stores. You have to go to the SAQ for that. And of course, they specialize in much more variety of uh, whatever you're looking for. So, uh, you know, just a little background there on how it works here in Quebec. And uh, here's the Jean Coutu Pharmacy. This is a Quebec pharmacy as well. I don't know if they have these in other parts of Canada. Maybe my viewers can let me know. Jean Coutu, I don't think I've seen those in uh, other parts. Uh, there's another Couchetard. No, we're not walking in circles. We're actually on a street where there's uh, a lot of Couchetards. And the section of street I'm on, by the way, is the main section for businesses and all that. So that's why I wanted to keep it interesting. If I was to go south, I'd basically get to the aqueduct on Ville St. Pierre Street. Or sorry, uh, De La Verandre. And that's basically where we get our drinking water from. But there's not many businesses south of Monk Metro. Um, so again, we're walking around here to the north. And uh, this is a corner of Springland and Monk. And uh, indeed, there's actually Christmas lights that are up right now. And these are from last year, by the way. As we wait for our light to change, there we go. And you can see there's a restaurant that's for sale, Aloué. That's actually for rent. Aloué means for rent. Oh, there's an unmarked STM vehicle that just went by. What's in here? Terras, Terras Monk. Let's cross over. So we'll cross over here and uh, see what we can see. All kinds of, uh, you know, different things, different businesses. And the lens seems a little foggy tonight. I think it's just the way the air is. There's your typical business on the bottom floor. And your housing on the top floors. Which is typical of this neighborhood. You have your business on the bottom floor and then housing up above. Shooters Cafe. Yeah, like I said, all kinds of bars here as well. Drinking establishments. David Lamati. Okay, this here, look at this. This is the MP's, uh, the Liberal MP. Uh, this is his office. Our Member of Parliament. Very cool to see. Well, not uh, for my neighborhood. But for this specific riding. By the way, there's an election coming up in October. If you're uh, not in Canada, you may not have heard. But, uh, yeah, it's October, mid-October, I believe. I'd have to check the date. Is it the 21st? I don't know. Um, yeah, look at this. So these are street lights that look like candy... I don't think they're... They look like candy canes, but I don't think they're specifically for Christmas. I think that's just the design of the street, street lights. Here's uh, Bicycles Eddie. This is a famous bicycle shop here in uh, the neighborhood. Or Eddie Bicycles. They repair bikes, sell bikes, refurbish them. This is Park Garneau. It's actually a street and a park. And again, this area on this side is the Cote St. Paul neighborhood. And over on this side is the Villa Mar neighborhood. So it just goes to show you uh, literally across the street, you're on a different neighborhood. And speaking of crossing over, let's go back on the a Villa Marge side. And in the distance you can kind of see the McGill Super Hospital. Way, 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 way in the distance. And St. Patrick Street's coming up. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to walk that far. Uh, if you like art, here's a nice art gallery. Maybe we'll walk to the fire station and the, the library. Oh yeah, there's another famous restaurant coming up here. 
on the next street but you're gonna see old-fashioned diner Impo, I think Impo means taxes in French. So these guys do your tax preparation if you want it. Denturologist, it's a dentist office. Which by the way, yesterday I just had my teeth cleaned. Um, very sensitive now though, the teeth. Uh, and that's normal because uh, once they clean the teeth, they clean the, you know, the tartar and the plaque. And uh, it kind of exposes the teeth more to um, I guess, you know, to the air and whatnot. I'm trying so hard to focus this camera, but it's giving me a bit of a problem tonight. I don't know why. I think it's just the lighting in the air. Mind you, the phone, the uh, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, received recently a software update, which I think had to do with the camera. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. So I would love to have some furniture like this, man. That kind of chair right there, I mean, Victorian style. Look at that chest in the back, wow. You know, I might be in the minority, but uh, I love antique shops. I love antique shops, I love flea markets, uh, bazaars, whatever you want to call them. Because you never know what you're going to see there, you know, just pieces of history, you know, old toys, uh, antiques, furniture that's who knows how old. And this is the Green Stop restaurant here. Uh, now we're on the corner of Jolicoeur and Monk. That's Jolicoeur and Monk. So some more restaurants here. We got Tim Hortons. I'm starting to lose my voice a bit because uh, fortunately there's a lot of ragweed out right now. If I talk too much, I tend to uh, lose my voice a little bit. There's a video store that went the way of the dinosaur. Former video store in there. Which I don't even think there's many left anymore. And uh, yeah, so here's a Tim Hortons. Let's cross over here. And again, this is a Jolicoeur and Monk. Very famous corner in this area. And the reason being is this restaurant right here in front of me. This is the Green Stop Restaurant. The Green Stop Restaurant basically is a restaurant that, uh, if you look inside, you can see what I'm talking about. Very old fashioned, typical greasy food, that sort of thing. And um, one of the things about this restaurant as well is uh, you have a lot of old signs in there too and old, all kinds of old things. I like these windows here that are all well, green. Now uh, there's the Green Stop and then there's another restaurant called the Green Spot. And the Green Spot restaurant is uh, near Lino Gru Metro Station. So what we're going to do, we're going to wrap her up here. I'll uh, show you this fire station and uh, the library. And I'll give you a quick view of this church coming up here that I really, I don't understand why they're even doing this to churches now, putting these LED, I call them uh, painted lights. But uh, that's what they do these days, you know. They color, colorify everything, if that's a word. Oh, uh, look at that beautiful stained glass window in there. Very pretty, very pretty. Not really a window, more of a light. Lit up glass. And uh, yeah, so some more gyms here. H2O MMA. There's a vet or a pet store there. And there's a Fire Hall 33. Yeah, Fire Engine 284. What is this one? Uh, 433. Nice ladder truck. Oh, look at the blue lights up there on the ladder. I've never seen those. That's new. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to wrap her up here. And uh, as always, thank you all for watching. And uh, more videos to come. All right, have a good night, all.